Okay, today we're going to work on creating a wavy line in Adobe Illustrator and then copying that line in order to create an optical illusion or a piece of op art in the style of Bridget Riley. So first thing we need to do is go File, New, and we're going to create a new file that is 18 inches wide and 12 inches tall. So make sure that your window right now is set to the same settings that you see here. Now we have a new artboard and everything, our piece of paper, um, or it's called an artboard in Illustrator, is this black outline. So that is the area that we're going to be working within. And I'm going to move it over just a little bit so we can hopefully get everything on there. Another thing that you're going to want to do eventually, and you can do it now or you can do it later, is we want to be able to see the rulers. So we're going to go to Window, or excuse me, View, Rulers, and Show Rulers. So now we have rulers that appear across the top and down the side of our paper. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use the Pen Tool, and you're going to use the Pen Tool to draw a wavy line. Now, the wavy line that we want, we want it to have varying width, varying height and depth, We'll call them hills and valleys, or peaks and valleys. We want the width and the height of those to be varying. We also want to be careful that we don't have something that's called an ocean wave. And let me just quickly show you what an ocean wave might look like. An ocean wave is something that comes back on itself. So that it curves back. If this is the widest point of where we're working, it comes back. All that's going to do when we do the copying and pasting is that's going to create just a color block or a color smudge down your paper, and we don't want that. So, what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and delete that because that was just an example. So, what you're going to do, the pen tool takes a little bit of work to get used to, but you can always adjust it a little bit in the end. Um, you want to first of all have um, the first little box up here, your selections. You want that to be transparent, which is going to be none. It's the box with the line through it. You'll also notice that that appears down here. Then this that's the fill. So we don't want any filling to be going on. We want this to be purely a line that is um, transparent around it. Then the stroke, which is the line itself, we want it to be black. Or you can choose whatever color you want, actually. Um, we're just going to work with black in this example. And then we want the stroke to be about three points. Um, uniform, meaning we don't want it to be thicker and thinner. Um, at least for this example, there are some really intense things that you can do with these types of lines, but we're going to work with just uniform right now. Um, oval is fine. Everything else up here is fine. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start drawing. And I always, whoops, sorry, I had to select my pen tool. Um, I always start off the paper just a little bit because um, then that will give me a line that goes for sure from edge to edge. So I'm going to just go ahead and start drawing. And you can see then how your line is going to start appearing. And again, remember I'm going for varying heights, varying widths, oh, we got a little bit of an ocean wave there, so I have to be a little bit careful. You want to really try to not have any strong points. We do want this to be a curved line. Again, I'm being very mindful of having it be varying heights and widths. Oh, 
Oops, got to be a little careful with that one. And again, I'm going to go off my paper. And I'm pretty satisfied with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, the pointer tool or, tool or the selection tool or that's also called the move tool. And what I can do now is I can copy this and then I can just click somewhere and, well, I must have just, I want to select the whole thing, copy, and now I've pasted it. If you select right on the line, then you're going to be able to move it. Now, the moving and lining up is really the most important part of this. So what I like to do is I like to bring it so that the edge of my artboard or paper is right even with the edge of my ruler. Now, I want to actually move the first line that I drew, and I want to make it line up on the edge of my paper at that first line on the ruler, which should be the 1 8 inch mark. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my next line and I'm going to have it line up and again I want to keep it right even with the edge of my paper and then have it line up on the next 1 8 inch mark. And now I can copy, click, paste, select right on that line, move that over so it lines up even with the edge of my paper and on the next 1 8 inch mark and now I'm going to keep doing the same thing over and over. Now, if you get really clever, what you can do is after you've done about one inch worth, you can, let me get just one inch worth done here, we're almost done. And you're already starting to see the illusion that's being created by doing this. Okay, I've got about one inch done. You're already starting to see the illusion of where some of the lines appear closer together, where they are more steep, and then it kind of, you get this feeling that this is like a ribbon almost, if you think of it that way, um, being folded and rippled. Now, if you want to, what you can do is you can select all, and I did command A, or you can go select all from above, and I'm going to copy that. I'm going to click below, and I'm going to paste that, and I'm going to select on that whole group, and I'm going to move that whole group down. Now I've done just an enormous section instead of doing one by one. So that is how you can um, go ahead and create your, your work of art. Now, one thing that I did um, with my every inch that I was moving, I will show you what I did. And I'm going to take it a second here to open. But what I did was this, about every four lines, or you could do it with every inch, is I changed my, my design or my color so that I kind of went from lightest to the darkest all the way down the, to my darkest value of the color that I had. So I started with a very light blue here and went all the way down. Now one thing that you could do is you could, um, in yours, before you do a copy and paste like this, if you wanted to do every other line, um, you could do it every other line, change the color, and then when you copy and paste it, you would have that same pattern of every other line. Um, really, the creativity is up to you at this point. Um, I just wanted to show you how to draw that line in Illustrator. Have fun and be creative.